What's up guys? Glock 19 versus Bale of Hay, right there. So, um, a lot of the cowboy movies, you see they hide right behind the bale here. So, I wanna see if it will stop it if you I try to hide behind it. I do have a, a water jug, another one here. Let's see if I can catch the bullet if it uh, enters. And, um, I'm gonna use, uh, of course, Glock 19, uh, nine millimeter round. I'm gonna be doing um, full metal jacket, 115 grain first. Let's see what happens, and then I'll move to the uh, to the heavier uh, round. But for now, let's try the. Okay. And it's hot and fire in the hole. Oh, <laughs> we're clear. Oh, shoot. I think I hit my uh, GoPro. <laughs> well, I did shoot my GoPro. Uh, stick that was holding it. Is that the only thing I hit? The camera itself is good. Oh, yeah, the camera itself is good. Um, where's the other piece of it? I don't know. Can we clean this a little bit? We're gonna be flip, be flip the veil on this side because uh, it did go through the other way. Nine millimeter, oops, <laughs> full metal jacket, <laughs> and let's see what happens. nothing happened with that I don't think if I tried with the uh, ho with the hollow point it'll make any difference but just I'm gonna go three rounds a couple of rounds with the... I'm gonna go a couple of rounds with full metal jacket and the uh, well first I'm gonna go with the hollow point and then a couple more rounds uh, with the full metal jacket let's see if we get any different kind of results Okay, so the answer is simple. If you hide on the long side, you'll be fine. But if you try to hide right behind it where it's kind of skinnier and narrow, uh, you won't make it. It'll come right through and uh, destroy your GoPro uh, stick and your uh, water jug. All right, I hope you guys enjoy that. Until next time.